Hi, this is Nick Cap, and this is Biology 240, and I was going to show you real quick how to use Google Docs uh, in order to um, uh, make kind of an interesting graph. And so uh, in class, we've been looking at growth curves, and I want to kind of show you real quick how to make a growth curve, although this works for kind of, kind of anything that you, that, that you do. And so I am in my Google Drive, and I'm in a folder that I made for Biology 240, and I'm, I'm putting my cursor over it here. And so what I'm going to do is I was given some uh, information on a Google Doc. Uh, again, you want to rename this Google Doc. I don't like having uh, these kind of names in here. I always want you to name it something with Nick um, uh, Growth Data Bio 240. Okay, so give it a name that, that is relevant. And then what you do is if you just kind of highlight this graph right here, uh, click on Control C, or you can go on to Edit, Copy. <coughs> I can make a copy of that. Then what I would do is, is go back to this graph. I am going to uh, make a new growth chart. So I go down to, so I click on Folder, go down to Google Sheets, if I click on Google Sheets. It will ask me if I want to share it with the same people, and I, we talked about the share uh, of what you can do. And if I click on this share, I am I want to put my chart. And so what I'm going to do is hit either Control V or I can do Edit Paste, uh, which uh, tells you that it's Control V right here. So if I click on Control V, and so here's my information. And so what I want to do is I want to um, chart that information. But first, I'm going to go into and do that. Is is this would be um, uh, Nick's bacterial growth chart okay so I want to do this bacterial growth chart and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and so I have a series of numbers in here these are not in significant digits although you can do that these are not in scientific notation you can do that as well but for right now I'm not I'm not going to do that and um, I can maybe show you how to do that a little bit later so if I highlight this material uh, what I can do is um, make a chart out of it now and so if I uh, click on the uh, insert tab I could go down to chart and if I click on chart what it will do is kind of give you its best guess of what it's wanting to do here and so what I'm going to do is I, I want to customize it so if I click on customize um, I can um, click on the chart style uh, the chart that I want to have here um, I'm actually going to go back to setup and chart type I'm going to go down and I really kind of like the scatter plot so the scatter plot is kind of best to do if we put it in here it's a little bit hard to see on this scatter plot we'll fix this a little bit um, I'm going to go back to customize and then um, chart uh, chart title and so uh, we're going to give it a chart title um, uh, title text and this would be um, actually this is uh, bacterial bacterial uh, growth curve and then you can do things of like I want to change the color uh, to red and make it this nice kind of skyline red okay and so I've done that I could go on and I can change the um, uh, time so this is time and hour so I'm, I'm changing the um, uh, vertical uh, so horizontal axis that goes uh, kind of this way and so the um, horizontal axis it's in time and hours but you know what you can just put um, H all right for um, that would kind of represent hours and then I'm gonna go and change the vertical axis uh, time and that would be uh, number of bacteria okay and so I did that now um, um, we want to have some um, steps and we want to do some of the minor steps I'm gonna do a kind of base 10 so I uh, what I did is I just put it up in the minor steps of, of kind of what you can see here and so we've done uh, all this stuff and uh, that's that's good and so what I want to do is is um, uh, the horizontal ac access is looking good so this is the number of hours we did a 24 hour uh, schedule and so that's great and we want to do the vertical up here and I want to change things like um, the numbers etc and so if I click on vertical access and come down here uh, the first thing I can do is I want to make this a log scale so if I click on a log scale ah doesn't that look a lot better and so that looks more like what we saw in the book uh, also what I want to do is increase the max so I um, well 
let, let, but let's go on this. And what the, the other thing is, we want to do an, increase the max. Uh, the other thing I want to do is um, change the uh, label vertical access and so number format I want to change the number format I want to make it scientific notation so here's the scientific notation so that's that's a little bit better so that looks a little bit better and we want to have the maximum value to be a little bit different so uh, that would be one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and so that way I can see the top of the gro growth curve. And so here we have, uh, here we're looking at the top. Okay, and so all right, so it's um, kind of interesting. So we we have this growth curve, and we set it all up with the numbers, number of hours. And we have a, a great looking curve here, so that you can look at. And so that's basically it. Oh, so what you want to do is you want to import this. Um, uh, to your other file and so uh, in the Google Docs so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy chart and so you go up onto this uh, if you click on it there's a three dots in here you can go on to copy chart or you can highlight the chart and copy it so copy chart and if I go back to Nick's growth data uh, for biology uh, 240 and so we have this data here and I want to import this I would say um, uh, edit I would click on paste or I can just control V uh, you can link it back to the spreadsheet or uh, what I a lot of times like to do is paste unlinked because if it's linked back to the spreadsheet when you make changes on this spreadsheet it will make changes in here which is kind of good and uh, we're gonna paste this in here so here is our line and then we could kind of change the size on it to however that that we want we could also um, uh, crop it we could do a number of different things and I am going to uh, wrap it in the text so that way I can bring it over here and put it over here and so here we have the data and then here we have the growth curve and a nice looking chart that you can share with your instructor so thank you very much this is Nick Cap signing out